The Appalachian Center for the Arts will be participating in the Pikeville 200 project with their Spirits of Pikeville Past production. The show will run February 16th and 17th and features six monologues from some of the most prominent figures in Pikeville's history that helped shape the city as we know it today. The show itself is free, but seating reservations must be made in advance by calling 606-262-4004. Yeah, so Spirits of Pikeville Past um, is a project that we've been working on for about a year. Uh, we've contacted um, and commissioned um, playwrights, local Kentucky playwrights, to write six uh, monologues and scenes about um, historical figures in Pikeville's past. And it's um, all to celebrate the Pikeville 200, our bicentennial year. Um, so this is part of the Pikeville 200 project. And because of that, um, the shows are being offered for free on the 16th and 17th of February. Um, we've got uh, three monologues on one day and then three monologues on the other day. And um, they're all portrayed by local actors around town. Um, and this is kind of just our kickoff um, of our, our Spirits of Pikeville past um, project so make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at jm custom auto and off-road it's your customization candy store visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model it's that easy window tinning remote start leather interiors sound systems front and rear bumpers spray and bed liners bed covers wheels and tires lift kits step rails even under glow light kits and so much more if you can dream it we can do it at jm custom Members of the app are thrilled to be involved in celebrating Pikeville and its people. This production has taken a year's time and research to complete. This is a really cool experience to be able to be involved in Pikeville 200. You know, um, the app is really only five years old. We started in 2019, but to be a part of this town um, is very special to us and to now be a part of its history because there's a lot of events that are happening with Pikeville 200 that are celebrating the history but also um, celebrating our, our current community and, and hopefully in another 200 years people will look back on this and say man they did some really cool stuff so to be a part of that to have the app be a part of of this celebration is, is very special for us. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.